Hello ladies and gentlemen, Marauder X here back with more Let's Play Shining the Holy Ark, and we are finishing up with Forest Cave, so we actually just exit. And when we exit, we're back on the world map. So we can go to the East Shrine or the town of Enric. Let's not go to a shrine yet. Shrines sound important. Let's go to uh, the town of Enric first. And there's actually a fair bit to do here. This is where we were hired to uh, to go after Rhodey. And so we come in here and search the fireplace. And in the fireplace of the this, these nice ladies' home happens to be an incubus. Now, remember, incubus is the Incubus and Succubus are, are demons that feed off of, you know, sexual energy and drive of, of men and women. Incubi feed off women, Succubi feed off men. So, the fact that there is an Incubus living in a house with what looks like two women... Let's... Let's think about that for just a second as to what the Incubus was probably doing. Alright, so that's that, and uh, let's see, we need to find an alley with a man standing in it. That's the church, not where we need to go just yet. That's the castle, also not where we need to go just yet. And that's the well, so where is the alley? Or is it... Right here? I think it's right in here. There we go. Arthur checked the wall. And we find another fairy friend. And we're gonna go find yet another fairy friend. And then we're gonna go shop. And a succubus. This this town actually is, is quite overrun with... <laughs> uh... I don't know why there's slowdown here of all places. There's, I guess it's the texture. All right, so but yeah, we get to, we get to show off Inky, uh, succubus ass. That's that's fantastic. All right, so we've got Dahlia, and now we need to go to the well. Which was over here? No, we don't want to talk to the dwarf. We go to the well. And so, go to the well. And... We go into the well. That's, you know... Actually, we're going to be spending a fair bit of time here. Uh, let's see. Where is... Uh... Head east... So this way? I, I actually could have just waited to to come here and get this one, but it, it doesn't matter. And we have another succubus. This town is just overrun with fairies that prey on, on naughty thoughts. Between an incubus and two succubi, that's, that's yeah. Alright, so we got the succubus and the last one we can't get right now. So we're gonna go and uh, go shop for one. Wow, that's weird. It starts you off on the other side of the. Weird. Okay, so uh, I think we wanna talk to this kid too. Uh, not that one. This kid is who we want to talk to. No, we don't want to go into the... We didn't want to go into the pub yet. It's kind of crowded, but please help yourself to a vacant stool. Because, uh, yeah, Doyle's here. I'm sure they would come here, so I arranged to get here first and wait for you. So I guess I can trust you with my boss, but I'm always watching you. Yeah, you really have no idea what's going on, Doyle. You really don't. Alright, so we don't need to 
to do that just yet. We want to talk to a kid. We want to go to a church. Oh, another fun cutscene. Uh, we recognize her from the uh, the opening cutscene as being exceptionally powerful, and she just killed a dog. You are just kind of a bitch. He shows up and kills a dog. What? Don't be fooled, Arthur. She's behind you. Oh, really? She's and she's on top of the tower. That's and she throws rose petals at us and vanishes. That girl just murdered a dog. <laughs> like that's. She has a very strange techniques. It doesn't feel like natural magic at all. Alright. So now we're in control. Hey, the dog! Dog st Okay, so she didn't kill a dog. I'm gonna be really pissed off if she just killed a dog. Be like, you are just kind of a bitch. Alright, let's come up here and save it for one. Before we do too much more. Uh, so we're gonna kneel before Zod. That joke is never going to stop. Mostly because I really do not understand why they decided to localize, like, I guess, to, to, to keep religion out, but, you know, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't get it. Zod just sounds silly to me. So, but it's something that they did, so that's... All right, we're gonna look for a kid. Actually, it may have been that kid, or he may not be here just yet. There's a kid we need to talk to because he's actually really important to the Shining series in in general. So we're gonna come here. We're gonna find out and see what items and weapons everyone's got. So let's do armor first, because you know defense. It seems to be my my go-to in this game, but not in other games. Other games is like, let's focus on armor, or uh, on uh, weapons first, shall we? So we're going to sell some of the antidote herbs, because we don't need them. We don't need that many of them, at least. We're going to sell the... Uh, actually, is the bronze brace? The bronze brace is one that we currently have. Yeah, bronze brace is the one we currently have, so that's fine. And the same with the feather rope, so we can sell that. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna sell all sorts of stuff to you, lady. And we're gonna... S sell the scale mail. I could probably do the same trick that I did in, uh... Shining Force 2 and sell the, the mithril and buy it back later. There's really not much of a point in it at the moment. So, we'll sell that. And we do not have an aggress spell to start with, which is something that I did not pay any attention to. So, we want to keep that in mind. Bronze race is 112. And that should be it. Let's see what we can... Do you have any deals? Nope. What do you have to sell? Didn't you buy something? Else? I've never been here. And ooh, so there's a lot of stuff here. Look, look at all this. That's, and we can't afford half of it. <laughs> Bronze armor, battle armor, iron brace, large shield, chain glove. Like, we can afford the low-end stuff. Like, we could get the, the chain mail, the iron shell, leather robe, chain suit would be for, uh, Rhodey. Like, the bronze armor and the, uh, battle armor for Arthur. 
So, uh, just out of curiosity, let's see. That would raise his defense to 53. I could afford it. I really could afford it. Um, well, let's go ahead and upgrade everyone in smaller increments, shall we? So let's do the chainmail. That br bumps it up to 45. And... We'll sell the scale mail, because we don't need it. And... We'll... Buy a leather robe. And that brings her up to 34. And she can sell the other one. You get 112 for that one. Yep. So... And... Chain suit is roadies. 36. I could also go back out and... Power level to get some more money, but I don't... I don't really need to. Alright, so... Now that... Those... Those two pieces of armor... Bring me up to almost what one. <laughs> that's, but I mean, that's considerably cheaper. So, uh, let's see. Iron braced. That'll be for Melody. That brings her up to 39. So that's better. And what else do we got? How much money we got? We've got. Let's do the large shield for Arthur. So between all of those, it brings me up to how it brings me up to the same amount between all of those as that one would have. That's that is exceptional. So I almost have enough money to go ahead and upgrade everyone's armor. I don't think I'm going to have quite enough to, to max out everything, but... Alright, so... We bought the chain glove? Did I buy it? I, I bought the chain glove. Yeah, okay, so I don't need that. So... I love how it's always... It always does that. The, the menu system is not quite the best. And steel circlet and steel helmet. So I could buy a steel circlet, which can be used by Melody. So we'll do that. All right. So I did have enough to to get everyone, because the other items are their higher end stuff. So that's our defense is now maxed out. What weapons can we not buy because we have no money? What weapons are you looking for? Let's see. Which one do you want? Yeah, I can't afford any of these, but notice how Power Axe is one that is now showing up in the list. So, we're going to be getting an axe user very, very shortly. So, that's that's a thing. Alright, so we've got what it, the best stuff we can afford. We'll need to come back here for more stuff later. Uh, so now it's time to uh, to progress things. So uh, I believe we need to head to the castle? Is where we need to go now? And hey, the lower the drawbridge for us. How wonderful. Alright. Greetings, Arthur. We heard the heard that the old hag, I mean relics, foretold of your return. I have a message for you. You have been summoned to appear before the king. Alright. We did okay. You have returned as relics predicted, so can I Okay. I can go through. Thank you. Alright, so Time to keep going. Go in the castle. Look around the castle. 
and go up here, and I believe we need to go to the left. Uh, which one is it? No, it's all the way at the end. Suspicious looking wall. And that gives us Stamina Onion. I don't remember which one, what Stamina Onion does. Alright, so... Now we have to get the cutscene. So we go talk to, uh... Go, gotta go talk to Rilix. So we just keep going through doors. And, uh... Yeah. Hey, it's, uh, Forte! It must have been difficult to catch an outlaw, like, yeah. You aren't mad at me since I came back a little earlier than you. Uh, except we know you're possessed, so this is not good. This is a trap. This is us walking right into a trap. You're late, aren't you? You must be rewarded for saving our kingdom from disaster. Alright, um... We walk forward. Kind of uncontrollably. Kneel before the king. We have one pressing question. Are you sure Rudy is dead? I barely escaped getting trapped inside and... For you two to also escape. Well, you escaped because you were possessed. We were... We escaped because we were possessed. There's just a lot of possession going on here. Relix tells me that saving you would have been beyond even her power since she had been there. Um... I, I love how Forte is being kind of a jerk, but... That's because there's someone pulling the strings. And I'm betting it's the creepy hag lady that no one seems to like. You have the gall to attempt to deceive Relix? Uh... Yeah, that's Rody. It's not what you think. Let's... Let's deal with the fact that we are now... Possessed by... Powerful spirits. Are you feeling well? Look at your body. Uh, yeah, you were... Yeah, let's... An evil spirit has taken control of your body. And Rhodey has the ability to exercise demons with special magic. Except it doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Oh, oh, except it is doing something. Oh, the king is also possessed. So Relix is just possessing people left and right with these spirits. Yep, yep, that looks like it's going to be fantastic. Stop it right there, Rhodey. The evil spirits have merged with their bodies. If you kill the spirits, your friend and the king will die. Uh, kinda, yeah. Kinda want to stab you in the face. Can, can that be a thing that happens? Now, of course, I could finish you off right now, but... Okay, so you want us alive to answer questions? What are those lights which surround your bodies? Uh, it's power that you don't even understand. I have to put you someplace until you change your mind. So, we get to go to the dungeon. Because trapdoor. How wonderful. And a little cliche, but... Alright, so we're stuck in the dungeon. Arthur wakes up. Rhodey's still wearing that ridiculous mask. Oh, yeah, it was kind of foolish to come here without a plan. You're a ninja, aren't you? Ninjas are supposed to be able to vanish into thin air? Yeah, it doesn't quite work that way. Only half of me is Rhodey. I have no control over nor little knowledge of my other half. 
So, yeah. Can't count on Rudy. What are we gonna do now? And Doyle comes to lend a hand. Doyle, who is hanging upside down from the ceiling. I did tell you not to go to Henrik. Yeah, you did. Alright. How about you just let us out of here? What were those things that emerged from the king and your friend? Um, those are evil spirits. Yeah, we have no chance. Alright, so he takes the mask off because at this point it doesn't matter. Everyone in Far East Village is waiting for it. You could just, you know, leave this problem. Just tell everyone to wait a while longer. And... I left the boss in your care because I trusted you. I'll give you another chance to prove yourselves. So... We didn't... He was the only one who could have removed the spirits with his, you know, special magic. So... Hurry and get going. Turn left and follow the path to the well. Uh, it runs underneath the castle. Once you get there, the rest should be easy. So we're actually going to go back to the well, basically. Alright. Before I go, I should tell you there's a passage down there that's blocked by a wall-like door. Okay. Good things to know. Not much of a conversationalist. Not really. We can talk about our plans later, when we're not in a dungeon. Alright, so this is where I'm going to end this episode. I will see you guys in the next installment, where we uh, have to flee Inric. So, till then, later everyone.